In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can scale on LinkedIn and how you can book 21 to 53 qualified sales appointments per week and even per day. And look, I know that may sound crazy right now, but if you stick with me to the end, I'll show you exactly how you can do this and how you can do it very cost efficiently. And before we dive in, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as I heard it helps the algorithm. What's going on? It's Mitch Gonzalez here and here's what we're going to cover in today's video. First, we're going to cover why systems are vital for scaling, not just on LinkedIn, but in all dimensions of your business. And number two, we're going to dive into how to reach the right people on LinkedIn and how to get your message in front of them and convert them into appointments. And number three, I'm going to show you how you can turn connections into qualified booked sales appointments in your calendar. Because look, it's not enough just to get connections on LinkedIn. It's how do we turn them systematically into qualified appointments in your calendar and then how to convert them into paying clients. And then lastly, I'm going to dive into what I call the horizontal scaling method on how you can scale on LinkedIn. And this is very counterintuitive to what most people are talking out there where they're saying paid ads. I'm going to show you how you can do it organically without spending any money on paid advertising. Here's why systems are vital to scaling. Because without systems, you'll never be able to truly scale. And with any platform, whether it's on LinkedIn or again on any dimension of your business. And systems are what create consistency and predictability. Because without them, you won't be able to know exactly what you need to do to generate appointments, to get clients, and you'll be kind of doing things sporadically and you'll be frantic and you won't have the certainty on what you need to do today to start getting appointments and how to scale the business. And I want you to understand this. Systems are about creating consistent inputs. So these are the inputs, right? And you need to have consistent processes, right? that create consistent, predictable outputs. And outputs are in the form of booked sales appointments, right? So these are also sales appointments, sales, so generating the actual clients, right? And really sharpening this process up and then getting the feedback and plugging those outputs back into the inputs and then feeding it back through this feedback loop and you have the positive feedback or negative feedback, but in this case, it's positive feedback, so the inputs are your messaging, your targeting, your value proposition, what I call a proprietary method. And these are the things that plug in here. And then you have the processes, how to actually take those prospects and turn them into appointments, right? So having conversion process in place to consistently turn those those prospects from LinkedIn into appointments and then taking those appointments and having the sales process to consistently turn them into paying clients. And then these are the outputs and then they feed back into the inputs and this is what's gonna be able to help you to scale the business, okay? And I want you to understand this. Systems run the business and the people run the systems. And that's really, really important to understand because in the next few points, I'm gonna lay out exactly how we're gonna apply this to your business. But I want you to understand that. The systems run the business and the people run the systems. So you must have systems where you and your team can plug into these inputs and they create consistent, predictable outputs, right? Again, in the form of sales, revenue generation, book deployments, and then feeding it back through this process and the compounding effect. And that's how you have this like J curve. And this is how you're going to be able to really scale your business and do it really cost effectively, right? By having these systems in place, you do not need to use paid advertising for this. When you have the right processes and the systems in place, you can just constantly scale your business by rinsing and repeating this and feeding it back through this process. And systems are more about seeing the whole rather than the individual part, right? Because LinkedIn and generating like connections is just one piece of the overall whole of scaling the business, right? Because you need to understand, okay, well, how does LinkedIn apply to your sales process, right? And then how does not just messaging prospects on LinkedIn, how does it actually turn into your building your lead database, nurturing your prospects in your pipeline, generating future opportunities, retargeting them on different platforms. It's not just about this one component on LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn messaging, that's just one component of it. You need to have more of a, a broader perspective. And again, having a multi-channel approach, if you, you know, follow any of my stuff, I always talk about having a multi-channel approach so that you can scale. And the whole is bigger than the sum of its parts. Now let's talk about how to reach the right people on LinkedIn. Well, number one, if you're not using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, then go sign up for it right now. It's an absolute gold mine. 
But again, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is just a lead source. It's just a database and they run off algorithms and it all comes into the inputs that you plug into it, right? Having that systems thinking framework and what are the inputs that you're putting into the system? That's what's going to give you the consistent prospects, right? The high quality prospects on the outputs, right? And if you think about it in the software world, they call this garbage in garbage out. So if you're not targeting the right people, meaning going deep into your specific optimal client, then you're not going to be able to actually have the right inputs. that are going to give you that high quality list and that source of leads that you can tap into to then leverage and then turn them into actual paying clients, right? So it's all about going deep into your sub niche is what I call it and going specific on the exact ideal client that you want to target. And I see this problem all the time. Most people, they go way too broad and just target like business owners or uh, like doctors or some very high level, really broad niche. And then when you have that, it pull, it's from LinkedIn, it's pulling from their profile. So if they have any of those keywords in their profile, anywhere over their entire career, then it's going to pull that in. You have to get very, very specific and add on layers, but not have too many layers of abstraction, but you want to have layers to that where you can go deep into the sub niches, right? Where you have the top level niche, but you want to go layers deeper into that. And the way you want to look at it is you have your high level niche, right? You have your niche market here, right? And below this, you want to go into the sub layers. What is the overall like next layer deeper? So this is like the next layer into the sub niche, right? And then even deeper into the sub niche, you're going to have other layers to this, right? You're going to have specific um, industries or titles right within this. You have titles, you have a whole bunch of different criteria that is that's deep into the niche, right? Um, company size, right? whole bunch of different things. And then off of that, you're going to have the specific problem, right? And transformation that niche, this niche wants to solve, right? Because there's going to be a niche, for example, like, um, like SaaS companies, they're, they're going to have a problem and a desire, for example, raising capital. They want to raise capital and exit their business. That could be one problem and transformation that they want. Another problem is just getting to that first $10,000 a month in monthly recurring revenue, right? And they want to get their first few clients, right? And there's another one where they want to scale to a million dollars in ARR, annual recurring revenue, right? They need help generating appointments, getting in front of enterprise level clients, right? There's going to be different problems and desires. And this is what I call a sub niche DNA mapping. Okay, you need to map out the sub niche and the DNA string that makes up with it, which is the problem, desire, and transformation. So the market need and desire. It also stems into the solution, right? So your mechanism of achieving that problem and desire and the value creation, meaning the price that this person's willing to pay to achieve this transformation, right? So you want to go deep into these layers because again, they may not already know the mechanism that's going to be used to solve this problem. And so if you go at it and just say something generic, like we help business owners scale on social media through Facebook ads, it's very, very generic. I mean, depending on what you offer or a financial advisor saying, you know, we help, you know, high net worth individuals, you know, create a holistic financial plan. It's very, very generic, very, very broad. Okay. And so you need to go into these di different layers, sub niches to find those right high quality prospects. Then it's about going into sales navigator and again, creating those inputs, right? That are going to create the outputs that you're going to feed into the system. Okay. And then we're going to take that feedback and we can sharpen up your targeting by one of the biggest things that we do. And I teach my clients is you're going to see on the page, there's going to be different keywords, titles that they call themselves specifically, right? They're going to have an identity of how they see themselves. We take that data from the outputs that we get and we copy and paste those additional keywords and we plug them into the inputs and we're going to get a higher quality list of prospects in the output of the sales nav. Okay. And so this is how we can sharpen up the targeting and find and reach those right type of prospects on LinkedIn. Now, once you have that list of high quality prospects and you know the right people that you need to get in front of, here's how to turn those connections into booked sales appointments in your calendar. And look, I see this all the time. Most people, they're just optimizing for connections and connections are great. But again, you can't deposit connections into your bank account and you have to have a systematic approach of taking those connections and turning them into booked qualified sales appointments in your calendar.
Again, qualified sales appointments. And the way you do this is twofold. Number one, going back to what I mentioned, which is being very, very specific on the specific problem that you solve and the specific transformation you deliver to that specific sub niche. Okay. And if you're not that specific, because think about this, only that person is going to see the message. If on LinkedIn, it's not like we're running advertisements to hundred thousand people. We're specifically targeting an individual. So it needs to be personalized. It needs to be specific to showing how we can help solve their specific problem and deliver their specific transformation, get their desired result. Okay. If you can just do that, you will literally be able to flood your calendar because they'll say, yes, this is my problem. This is me. And I want to solve this problem, get this result. And this seems interesting. Tell me more. But it's all about the messaging and positioning. Okay. I see so many people overlook it. The only two inputs when we go back to inputs are messaging and targeting, right? And in messaging, you have positioning, your value proposition, and what I call the proprietary method and how you can stand out from everyone else. So you need to go very, very specific on that and then have a unique way of solving that transformation, which they've never really heard before, but it is so specific and aligned with what they want. They're just going to be flowing onto your calendar to learning how to solve this problem. And the second key thing here is about creating conversations. Now, look, this is obvious, but LinkedIn is a social platform. Okay. And with social platform, it's about actually being human and authentic and genuine and not just looking at your connections and your followers as transactions and dollar figures, right? You have to be genuine. You have to show genuine interest in your prospect and showing that you care and about them and how you can help them solve their problem and alleviate this. And you understand them coming from that place of empathy and showing them, look, I'm genuinely showing you that I can help you. And look, here's what I have. And if it's a good fit, then we can talk about maybe moving forward together. If not, no problem, right? But it's about creating those conversations, going back and forth, having a, a actual conversation with them. And again, going back to systems and processes, it's about systematically and having a process for having those messaging dialed in. And obviously you have to dial it in first yourself, like really going back and forth. And then you're going to have questions. You're going to be engaging with them. And then what I call finding the pocket to then ask for the call, right? Getting on a quick chat and it has to be very low commitment. So I see so many people, their sales process, and this goes a little bit deeper into the, the flawed sales process, which is they're just trying to get them on like a 60 minute zoom call, right? Or a 45 minute sales call. And, or they're trying to make this prospect basically qualify themselves in the chat, or they're trying to send them through some application and look, the prospect, they're, they're a cold prospect on LinkedIn by default, right? If they don't know who you are already, you haven't built that rapport, that trust with them, then they're not going to get on a call with you. Right. And one of the things you want to do is you want to make it very low commitment and re reduce the, the actual resistance. Okay. And throughout the entire sales process, you want to constantly graduate and gradually increase the amount of commitment that you're getting the prospect. So at the beginning, you just want to get them on a quick chat, quick 10 to 15 minute chat, very low commitment. Anyone has five to 10 minutes to learn about how they can grow their business and improve their life, solve a problem that they have and, you know, get a desired result. Right. And so getting them on just a quick 10, 15 minute chat. And then here is where you're going to qualify them and then convert them into a zoom call. And what I call pre selling them before you ever get on the sales call, basically turning an outbound prospect into an inbound appointment. Okay. But the key here is actually creating those conversations with your prospects, not just going straight for the call, not just, you know, going and just being again, treating them like dollar figures and transactions, but genuinely being curious, creating conversations, the volume of conversations that you have in your inbox, is the amount of appointments you're going to get. It's simple as that conversations equal appointments. Okay. So you got to engage with them, ask questions, questions stir engagement. Once they ask questions, they're going to have back and forth dialogue. And again, you're going to create systems and process on this where you have the conversations mapped out in like your 10 moves ahead. It's like a grandmaster in chess, your 10 moves ahead, whatever they're saying is a rebuttal. They have an objection. You have a, a response for that. If they have a question, you have a response. And again, this is when, how, how you're going to be able to scale is because then when you want to get off this process, which is the next point, which I'll get into, then you can get off this process and just focus on growing the business. Right. And then have other people plug into a proven system, proven process for converting them into qualified appointments and then a consistent, predictable sales process to convert them into clients. 
So once you have the systems dialed in for converting the actual conversations into appointments, right? Now it's about scaling the business horizontally, okay? So there's two ways that you can scale. It's horizontally through what I'm gonna show you, which is basically through additional profiles and by bringing on appointment setters and actual remote prospectors. And then there's another way of scaling, which is vertically by spending money on paid advertising. But the way we're gonna do it is completely organically through horizontally scaling. And remember where I said that systems run the business and then the people run the systems? Well, once you have the systems dialed in, now it's about plugging in appointment setters and remote prospectors and actual sales reps into this process and creating a remote commission-based sales team so that you can scale. Now, how I want you to look at the horizontal scaling method is let's say this. Now, let's say you have one LinkedIn profile and let's say that it's generating you, let's say on a bare minimum, let's just say 15 appointments a week. Let's say it's generating you 60 appointments a month, okay? 60, 60 discovery calls. So these are again 15 minute discovery calls. We'll just go DCs, right? Discovery calls uh, per month, right? And let's say you're converting 80% of those into sales calls. So that's 48 sales calls per month, right? And then let's say you're converting those at 20%, right? So out of that 48 at 20%, that's roughly 10 deals a month, right? Let's say you're getting 10 deals a month right? 10 deals per month. And let's say that each client is worth to you, let's say 5k, right? So you're doing basically 50k a month, completely organically, utilizing LinkedIn, right? Just with one LinkedIn profile, right? Well, how you scale this process. So the horizontal scaling method is you're going to basically duplicate everything you were doing here. And you're going to scale this process with another LinkedIn profile. Okay. And you're going to have an appointment setter, take the discovery calls and you're going to get on the actual sales calls and there's going to book you this process. And now you're doing say 50 K right now you're doing hundred K a month. Right. And this is how you can scale. And you basically just scale it horizontally by adding additional accounts. Right. And this is when you have like five, 10 LinkedIn accounts. This is how I've had clients literally being able to scale to 500,000 a month. Okay. And this is how we scale our business is by having a horizontal scaling method, right? And we scale it horizontally again through adding additional LinkedIn profiles, because if you're booking 60 appointments, discovery calls per month from one LinkedIn profile, now you have five LinkedIn profiles. Again, you can just do the math. And even if it's a little less efficient, you're still being going to be able to scale your business and plugging in appointment setters where they're going to be again, booking you the sales calls and then eventually you can have closers and actual salespeople taking those calls and now you're off of the phones just working on the business. And this is a horizontal scaling method. Again, by taking this and duplicating it across these different channels. And again, once you have this process dialed in, this is how you can scale rapidly and do this organically. And again, most people think they need to go and spend money on advertising and everything like that. You do not need to spend money on ads to scale. Okay. It's about taking a consistent process and a system that is dialed in, that's consistently spitting out 50 K a month and then duplicating it and scaling through what I call repetition, right? Horizontally scaling and just duplicating what's already working. Right. And this is the horizontal scaling method on really how to scale your business. Okay. And this is some of the largest companies in the world have used this systems like HubSpot, Salesforce. And this is what I've learned and mastered over the past six and a half years on what we do and how we scale our companies and we help our clients. Now these appointment setters and these remote prospectors are basically commission based. They're commissioned based on either hundred percent commission, right? Based on the appointments that they set or the actual deals that are closed or they have a small salary, right? And a commission. And again, it's tied to the appointments that they set and the actual sales that are closed. So they're incentivized for getting qualified appointments on the calendar and making sure that they close, right? And if they don't close, they follow up, they, they follow up with no shows, no sales, and they constantly keep your pipeline full, right? And again, most entrepreneurs, what I see is they don't delegate. They, they start, they get into this process and then they're stuck here doing and working in the business and they're stuck at like 10 K a month or 50 K a month. And they don't know how to scale the process. How you scale is by horizontally scaling it, right? Optimizing the system so that it can be scaled. You can plug in someone that is remote 
that can dial in the systems, book appointments consistently every single week, and then actually close them into clients, okay? This is how you scale. And if you don't delegate, you'll constantly be spinning your wheels, stuck in the same place, literally like chained to your desk, doing the same thing every day, and you won't be able to work actually on the business and doing what you love. You'll be stuck working in it as a technician, doing all the things yourself. And so you must delegate once you have the system dialed in. The caveat is, and the prerequisite is you have to down the systems for yourself, converting them into appointments, converting them into clients. Okay. Then you can scale it. So this is how you scale on LinkedIn. And it's really that simple, but you need the right systems in place in order to be able to scale. It's about creating consistent inputs, which is your targeting, going deep into your sub niche, your messaging, your value proposition, your proprietary method, how you can stand out from everyone else on LinkedIn, heading up these prospects and how you can have the processes in place to consistently convert those conversations into booked sales appointments, predictably and consistently, and the sales process to turn those appointments into new clients consistently every single week, every single month moving forward. Now, I hope you found massive value in today's video. And if you want any help on this and you want to just plug into a proven system on how you can scale on LinkedIn, how you can get your targeting and messaging really, really dialed in and how you can consistently convert those prospects into appointments and then scale this process with the appointment setters and remote prospectors and building a remote commission only sales team, then what you can do is you can go in the description, book a live demo with myself and my team. We'll dive into your business and see exactly how we can help you scale on LinkedIn and really do it without spending any money on ads and scaling to 100K a month completely organically within the next six months or less. So that's it for this video. Go book a live demo below and also hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment. Comment below any insights you have from this video or any questions that you have. I'll go dive into the comments and answer anything that you want. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.